Josh Kelsey here from C3 NYC. Today's scripture is John 15, verse 11. One of my most favorite chapters in the Gospel of John. Let's read it together today. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you, that your joy may be full. This was Jesus' promise to his disciples. They were in the upper room talking about all sorts of beautiful things of love and serving and the picture of the kingdom. And then Jesus said, let's get up from here and let's go. And so most likely Jesus was walking through some sort of vineyard and pointing out to the vineyard and saying, hey, this is what the kingdom is like. This is what our relationship is like. When you're connected to me, you're going to be fruitful. And if you're connected to me, anything you ask in my name, I'm going to give to you because you're connected to me. So the same desire that the vine has, the same kind of fruit, the character, the nature of God, the very, the very love of God is flowing into you. So, so you begin to ask things and desire things that he desires because you're connected to the love of God. What was Jesus' desire in, in saying all this? He says, I want you to have this joy not just as an emotion, but I want it to be in you, part of you. He mentions the word joy two times, and then he goes even further, says, I want your joy to be full. I know this time has been difficult for you, but joy is not contingent on circumstance. It's contingent on what you're connected to. You can be connected to Jesus today. Let's pray. Let's imagine ourselves connected to the vine. Would you do that today? Would you picture your life? Disconnect from the other sources and be connected to the righteousness, the love, the character, the very nature of God himself through Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for every single person watching this, that they would actually connect to you. They would disconnect from anything else. That every single person would know that you are the vine, that you are the source of their life. So Lord, we do not have to fear. We do not have to be empty. We can be full of joy. And Lord, even when you shape our life and you prune our life, we do not have to fear for you are pruning us to make us even more fruitful in the times to come. I hope you can accept that today and you connect to the vine. God bless you.